I'm Jacob Hubert, Associate Counsel for the Liberty Justice Center. The Liberty Justice Center is a public interest law firm created by the Illinois Policy Institute dedicated to advancing liberty and pursuing cases that protect individual rights under the Illinois Constitution and the U.S. Constitution. We represent Jim Nuccio and Gabriel Wiesen, the owners of Beaver's Donuts. After college, Jim and Gabriel wanted to start their own business. At first they wanted to open a restaurant, but they weren't able to get the financing that they'd need. So instead, they entered a business with lower startup costs. They opened a food truck. The business they created, Beaver's Donuts, combines two of the country's most popular culinary trends, gourmet donuts and gourmet food trucks. And in less than a year, their business has become very popular. They've built an enthusiastic following, and wherever they go in the Chicago area, people line up to get the coffee and donuts that they make fresh right here on their truck. But Beaver's Donuts isn't welcome in Evanston. That's because Evanston has an ordinance that bans food trucks unless the truck's owners also own a brick and mortar restaurant in Evanston. Well, Jim and Gabriel don't own a brick and mortar restaurant in Evanston or anywhere else because they're young entrepreneurs just starting out. What they do have is a truck with a kitchen that meets or exceeds all state and county health and safety standards and they have fans in Evanston who would love to buy their coffee and donuts if only they were allowed to do so. In other words, Jim and Gabriel have everything they need to succeed in Evanston except government permission. Evanston's law that excludes Jim and Gabriel's food truck exists for just one reason, to protect established restaurants from competition. It has nothing to do with protecting the public's health and safety. The law already covers that with sanitary standards and health inspections. So today, we filed a lawsuit in the Cook County Circuit Court on Jim and Gabriel's behalf, seeking to strike down the city's ordinance because it discriminates against food truck owners and violates their constitutional rights. Evanston's rule violates Jim and Gabriel's right to be treated equally under the law, and it violates their right to earn an honest living in the occupation of their choosing. A city government can only limit someone's right to earn a living if it's necessary to protect the public's health, safety, or welfare. Evanston's rule doesn't do that. Instead, it just protects a private special interest group at the expense of consumers and would-be competitors. And that's not allowed under the Illinois Constitution. Jim and Gabriel are here with us today, and Gabriel's gonna share a little bit of their story with you. Gabriel? Thank you, Jacob. Hi, I'm Gabriel Wiesen. I am the owner of Beaver's Coffee and Donuts, and I'm here with my business partner, James Nuccio. In today's economy, young people just out of college can't count on someone else to give them a job anymore. They need to create opportunities for themselves. Jim and I decided to do that by starting Beaver's Coffee and Donuts, and we've been glad that there are so many people who want to buy what we have to offer. It's been hard work, but we love doing it, and we love interacting with our customers every day. But we were dismayed to find that Evanston won't give us a chance to serve the people here who want our products just because we don't own a restaurant. We don't believe that brick and mortar restaurants and food trucks pose a threat to one another. In fact, our goal is still to open up our own restaurant someday. We believe that both restaurants and food trucks can succeed and help foster a vibrant culinary scene in Evanston. And we also believe that we deserve a fair, equal chance to operate our business and earn a living. And that's why we're filing this lawsuit today. Mm -hmm. 